Next question is from Illugal. Do posture correction devices work? And if so, will it naturally carry over to better form when lifting? Terrible idea. Yeah. Well, there's two types. There's two because, I, you know, uh, they're the ones that you're probably thinking of, Adam, are the ones that, like, you wear the straps and they hold your shoulder back or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, th- that's one type of cr- posture correction ex- uh, uh, device. What, These what are ones that – well, I'll tell you. So there's there's ones that hold you in posture. So I've seen all kinds of variations of them, but typically what they do is you put them around your shoulder. It looks like a backwards mm-hmm. bra. Yeah. You tighten up the back, and it's then bro. It, it holds your shoulders back. So while you have this on, well, it looks like you have good posture, so it's correcting your posture. The reason why those are terrible is because they take over uh, from the muscles that are supposed to be doing that, and you actually cause the muscles you weaken them that it's, are weak, weaker. Yeah. You make them weaker. It's yeah. in- extrinsic. It's not intrinsic. Yes, yeah. and you actually will get worse posture from that. I mean, you'll feel good while you have it on. Once you take it off, those muscles that are supposed to do that, they've been so turned off, they'll get so weak that your posture will get worse and worse and worse over time. Now, there's other posture correction devices that require activation. Now, these are ones where it's like a little device you wear, you, you, you actually stick between your shoulder blades. Oh. Some of them are even embedded yeah. in shirts. And what they do is they give beep. You give you a little buzz. Yeah, they beep when your posture goes out. And so it's always reminding you to stand with better posture. Mm-hmm. Now, those are better because they require you to activate the muscles. Here's why I think that those are also not the greatest. If you don't know how to properly activate those muscles – all you're going to be doing is strengthening bad recruitment patterns. We know this as trainers. When I would get a client, this is actually, in fact, I used to do this. This was a technique I used to sell my value as a personal trainer. I would take a client, do my assessment. I would point out their issues with posture, point out what that causes. And I'd say, you probably have neck tension. You probably notice this. And they'll say, yes, yes, yes. Then I'll say, you know, here's a great exercise to correct that. And I would go to a cable row and I demonstrate the cable row show them show them how to pull their shoulders back, squeeze the mid-back, drop the shoulders, activate the muscles that give them good posture. Then I'd have them sit down, and I'd hold their shoulders and put them in position as they rode and really actively get them to activate the muscles. I'd have them do a few reps. Then I'd let go, and I'd say, now do five more on your own. And I'd film them with my phone. And then here's what would happen. The first rep would look good on their own. Second one would look bad. Third one would look worse. Fourth one would look terrible. They started to revert back to the muscles that were doing the work in the first place. They mm-hmm. couldn't they couldn't activate them properly. They weren't strong enough yet. And then I would show them and say, look, here you here here your form without me shows that can you see the difference, how your shoulders were going forward. If you did this exercise without a good trainer, especially in the beginning stages of training, all you're gonna do is make your posture worse because you don't know how to activate. It would blow their mind, they would hire me because they'd see my value. You wear a device that reminds you to pull your shoulders back yeah. and you have weak connection to those muscles, you're just going to shrug your shoulders or you're going to do something else that's weird to, to, you, you to get the device to shut up. somewhat reliant. I, honestly, I, it's interesting because uh, teaching your kids how to ride a bike now is so different than it was for us growing up. Like we had, we had training wheels. We had training wheels on the back and you would you know, feel a little bit imbalanced, but then you get corrected and it, it corrected it for you versus a Strider bike where, you know, there's no pedals. You know, you're learning basically how to balance first, which is everything. It's so much better. It's so much better because you're actively part of the process of balancing and then otherwise you can't, you know, sustain what you're doing. And so it, I look at it the same way. It's just a better method is to really understand, uh, you know, the, the entire process, what it takes to stabilize your Yourself and be a part of the process versus you know having something sort of beeping at you to get you to, to, to check it right now because remember this your posture is not bad because you're forgetting to stand uh, with better posture that's not why your posture is bad first off posture is it's it's a it's just it's a subconscious thing like breathing like you're not breathing bad because you're forgetting to breathe properly imagine having to remember to stand with good posture all day long that's kind of stressful Nobody lives that way. You know, we stand the way we do, and then we do lots of other things. So these devices aim to make you aware of your posture constantly throughout the whole day. But the problem is they're not adding enough resistance, and they're not teaching you how to activate the right muscles and get them stronger. Because if you do it right, let's say you followed a program like, like MAPS Prime Pro, or you work with a trainer, and they're actually actively teaching you how to strengthen those muscles. What ends up happening, if you do it right, is that proper posture happens on its own you're not sitting there thinking of good posture you just stand 
um, and you, you know, your, your posture is a lot better. 